Do you like doing precise work around big machinery? Would you say you're a good problem solver? Can you think logically and keep up with changes in technology? You might find that all of these skills weigh in your favor as a heavy equipment technician. Heavy equipment technicians repair and maintain heavy vehicles, industrial equipment, and transport devices connected to a power unit. To measure up the working parts of this heavy duty career, we talked with a heavy equipment technician working in Alberta. Hi, my name is Ethan and I'm a heavy equipment technician. A heavy equipment technician maintains, repairs, and overhauls heavy equipment. After graduating high school, I took my apprenticeship, which included four years of work experience and education, and now I'm a journey person. Ever since I was little, I liked playing in the dirt. Always had those tractors in the sandbox. And when you get older, you just upgrade more expensive toys. As a heavy equipment technician, I'm responsible to maintain and repair both stationary and mobile equipment, off highway and on highway diagnose and repair issues, and also maintain my own personal shop area. I work mainly on skid steers, loaders, excavators, and some forestry equipment as well. Other heavy equipment technicians might work on trucks and anything over one ton. As a heavy equipment technician, you can work in a variety of fields, from construction to mining to forestry. So a typical morning is we put on our PPE, I'll clock into the job, we talk to our foreman or our manager on the piece of equipment that we're working on. If it's a new project, we will be receiving a hazard assessment along with our work order, going out to our machines, doing our preliminary checks, checking oil, coolant, and just a basic walk around of the machine and then we diagnose our machines for our customer. We have good computer systems nowadays that help us with our diagnosing. You can plug into it, you can make tests. Then we would make preparations to disassemble our equipment. Working with your hands and digging into problems, figuring them out and being able to fix them, that's where the excitement is. You need to be physically fit to work on equipment. You want to be able to reach into some awkward positions. You might be kneeling for long periods of time, laying under a machine, or even reaching far into a machine. There are lots of hydraulic hoses, lots of oil in these pieces of equipment, and uh, having a good eyesight for finding leaks is a nice characteristic to have. Having a good sense of smell can also help you find if something's burning, if you have a burning clutch, or if you have brakes that are sticking. With a working environment, especially in the shop, it can be very noisy, it can be very congested and dirty. Uh, you can be working next to a grinder, you can be working next to a loud piece of equipment. Even just the air compressor running in the shop is loud enough that sometimes it's hard to hear other coworkers. Where I'd like to see myself in about five years would be able to teach younger techs on how to do this job. Being able to give them good knowledge on how to evolve in this trade is uh, pretty important. If somebody were interested in this line of work, I would say totally do it. There's good training, good travel, good pay, and you meet lots of interesting people in this industry. Being able to know that you fix this machine, you've tested it and you know it works, that's the best part of this job. For someone who has a good sense of vision, hearing and smell to help them diagnose problems, someone who has an interest in all kinds of big machinery and equipment, and who has the ability to work in cramped and difficult positions, huge possibilities are waiting as a heavy equipment technician. If that's you, why not learn more about this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. And check out related occupations like railway car technician or agricultural equipment technician. 
explore the possibilities, go to alice.alberta.ca.